Andalusia, the home of Flannery O'Connor, is a working farm in the town of Milledgeville, Georgia. All of the property is fully explorable, including Flannery's house. Provided a practical and ultimately welcome solution to the challenge of mobility. Andalusia is the family farm, and this is where she spent the last 13 years of her life, most creative years of her life. If you read her letters, you see that she got a lot of in inspiration from daily life on the farm. Peacock feathers line almost every room of the house, which is decorated mostly how it was when Flannery lived there. There are hundreds of acres of land, a beautiful walking trail, and around the back of the house, they even keep some peafowl, just like Flannery did when she lived there. There are two living there now. Flannery had upwards of 30. They've even preserved the farmhouse around the back, including some magazines that the former tenant hung up when she was a little girl. I asked Executive Director Elizabeth Wiley just how important it is to preserve Andalusia. I think those of us who are in the preservation business have a longer view of things, and um, uh, currently we're bracketed by Walmart and the car dealership, and if you were to think 10 years ahead, you just imagine 441 is going to be really more densely developed um, with commercial property. So that makes this green space even more precious. Um, it's that it was the home of Flannery O'Connor, one of the greatest writers of the 20th century, and the place where she uh, both wrote and or completed all her published works, um, but also a place where she drew inspiration is, um, you know, one of the reasons we're preserving it. Uh, people come from all over the world who are fans of the writer and know that she wrote about the tree lines and the light and the dairy operation and the people who worked here and uh, if you walk in the back pasture you can just imagine Mrs. May being gored by the bull or you know you see the hayloft and imagine Holga losing her leg, her prosthetic leg to the Bible salesman. So <clears throat> it's the look and feel of the place uh, that we're trying to um, sort of bring back to the period of significance, and that's preservation speak for, you know, what, what time period do you focus on? You know, what, what, it, what is the look and feel that we're trying to create? Some parts of Andalusia are very interactive, but other parts are meant to be looked at and not touched. I asked Elizabeth what goes into preserving all of the room. In the preservation world, authenticity is a big deal, and you know, uh, very often there are um, period rooms or in historic house museums that are exact recreations and, and are the result of slavish research and reproductions of things that are are based on, you know, scientific analysis of wall coverings or paint. Um, that's not the degree of preservation we have here. Um, the authenticity is, is, you know, did Flannery drink out of that coffee cup? Um, we don't have any way of knowing, but the um, idea is to recreate the look and feel of the place. Um, people who visited the farm tell me, and when Flannery lived here and were friends of hers, and also historic photographs tell us that this porch was not um, set up with all these white rocking chairs in sort of soldier fashion. It was really outfitted like an outdoor room and with a mix, mix mash of furniture, some, some nice, some just cheap lawn furniture. Uh, there was a hammock down at the other end. So, um, you know, there are some areas in which we, you know, haven't slavishly recreated um, what it was like when Flannery lived here. Um, her room is an important zone in the house, and, uh, you know, that's more or less the way it was set up when she lived here. 
some of the furniture has been given to Georgia College. There was a stand-up desk and her, the desk and typewriter where she actually wrote um, her published work uh, is at Georgia College. So what's in there now is kind of a mock-up. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, were those items on her mantle exactly what she had when she was here? We don't know. Um, her family members and others who knew her have helped inform the setup of the house. You know, other spaces we've repurposed the, the what was originally the farm office where Mrs. O'Connor ran the farm is now a retail shop. Um, what was Mrs. O'Connor's bedroom is the office for the organization. Um, what were Uncle Lewis's quarters uh, who co-owned the farm with Mrs. O'Connor? Um, <clears throat> his quarters are now repurposed as contemporary program space. Um, all of those things are, you know, about the 21st century visitor experience. Uh, historic house museums have found a falling off in attendance and interest in history. Certainly people are reading less than they used to. So our, our job is to continue to stay relevant so people visit the house and become engaged and then, of course, support it. A beautiful setting with some interesting literary history, Andalusia is the perfect place to preserve for years to come.